What's up guys, it's Chris Herio. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a chest workout that you can do from the comfort of your own home that's gonna replace the one you do at the gym. Now there are a number of reasons why you may want or even have to work out at home, like time and convenience, for example, or not being able to afford a costly gym membership. But whatever the reason is, there should never be an excuse to not work out. And with today's home chest workout, I'm gonna show you how to replace all the exercises that you normally do at the gym with exercises that you can do from home that will simulate the same movement path and engage the same muscle groups. Now when it comes to working out your chest, at the gym, the most common exercises are hitting the flat bench, incline bench, and doing flies, either with dumbbells, barbells, or cables, but these are the most common exercises that people would normally do in the gym for chest. So these are the exercises that I'm gonna be showing you how to replicate from home. And although those are exercises that are great for building your chest, there are other exercises that don't use weights and engage your chest differently in ways that you couldn't do with the barbell. And I'll be showing you two of those exercises at the end of the routine. So if you're ready to get this workout started, all you're gonna need is to open up the Harrier Pro app to this YouTube workout. And if you don't have the Harrier Pro app, you can go ahead and download it on the App Store or Google Play Store. Before we get into this routine, we're going to start off with a quick warm-up. The first exercise is going to be 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Let's get it. exercise we're going to go for is low plank to high plank for 30 seconds. Let's wake up these arms, come down, one elbow down, then the other, and back up. Keep your core tight, regulate your breathing. This is just a warm up, so you can take this nice and slow. Here we go, five more seconds. All right. Now last exercise for the warm up. We're gonna go for half burpees, just 10 really quick. Then we're ready to start this routine. Let's go for it. We're gonna get into a push up position. to get this workout started. Now the first exercise of the routine is gonna replace the incline bench in the gym. We're gonna go for elevated push-ups. Let's go for 15. With this exercise, we're gonna be emphasizing mainly on our upper chest. And to get a full effective chest workout, you need to work out all the areas of your chest. So first we'll engage our upper chest with these elevated push-ups. All you need to do is find an elevated surface to put your feet on top of. We're gonna be going for 15 repetitions and I want you to complete them no matter how, if you need to divide them into two or three, or you can do them all at one set. Get them done with perfect form and be conscious of your body alignment, making sure that you're straight from your heel to your shoulder and engaging your core, making sure that your hips aren't slouching down. Now the next exercise we're getting into is gonna replace the flat bench in the gym. And when you're doing a bench press, because you're laying down flat, you're gonna work your entire chest, but you're gonna really feel the emphasis on the middle chest area. And the great thing about using dumbbells when you're bench pressing is that you can go past your chest, unlike when you're holding onto a barbell. So we're gonna replicate that same effect, increasing our range of motion and working more muscle fibers by going deep with these deep push-ups. Let's go for 20. You're gonna need three elevated surfaces that are roughly the same height. That can be a couple chairs or a couple books. Let's go for it. Go nice and deep. Back up. All right, now you can feel the increase of range of motion when you go deep in these push-ups. Moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna be substituting the decline bench press for bench dips. This exercise is gonna emphasize on our lower chest, we're gonna go for 20 reps. Now when you're doing this exercise, you wanna make sure that you're not leaning too far back, using more of your rear delts and triceps than your chest. You wanna make sure that lower pecs are involved and you're leaning forward so that when you come down, you can feel it in your chest. 
Let's go for 20. There we have the 20 bench dips. Moving on to the next exercise that I have for you guys. An exercise that will make you wonder how to do from home. We're gonna be replicating the fly with fly push-ups. We're gonna be going for 12 reps. Now I'm gonna be doing these on the floor, but if they feel too difficult, you can always elevate the angle, put your hands on a higher surface, and that's gonna make it more manageable. Let's go for it. We're gonna start with a wide push-up position. Then we're gonna go down and explode to the top of a diamond push-up. Come right back. And from this position, you wanna squeeze your inner chest as hard as you can. All right, let's go for it. All right, so there we have fly push-ups, replacing the flies with dumbbells or cables and emphasizing on our inner and outer chest. Now those are the most common exercises that you would do in the gym. And those are the exercises that you can use to replace them from home. Now I'm gonna show you two more exercises that are gonna engage and build your chest in a way that you don't do at the gym and you can't necessarily do with weights. The first exercise I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be typewriter push-ups, 10 on each side. We're gonna start down on one side, keeping our palm really close to our chest. Go to the other side and alternate. This exercise is gonna allow us to isolate each pec within our chest from an angle that goes side to side versus up and down. This is gonna engage your chest differently, working areas of your chest that could be neglected if you're only working up and down movements for chest. So if you're not already incorporating these type of movements into your chest routine, start today and you're not only gonna see visible improvements, but you're gonna feel the strength gains. All right, there we have typewriter push-ups. And what's great about this exercise is because you're at the bottom portion of the push-up, you're constantly exerting force the whole entire time. And that should fire up all the areas of your chest from your outer to inner. Now this next exercise is gonna isolate each pec, not just to make them more visually aesthetic, but also to make them individually stronger. We're gonna be going for archer push-ups, 10 reps each. Now when we're training one arm, the opposing arm is gonna stay locked out and straight just to support and assist your body while doing the archer push-ups. So let's get right into these. You wanna make sure that your fingers are spread out, you have a wide grip, and that when you're coming down, you're coming down to your chest line, not to your shoulder line. If you're coming down at your shoulders, you're too far back, you need to come more forward. So you're gonna come down on one side, back up, keep your arms straight. There we have it, the last exercise to this home chest workout that's gonna replace the one you do at the gym. And as you can see, I've used no weights on my chest, it's fired up, but that's only round one. If you're able to complete this with me, congratulations, you're on your way to building a strong, solid chest. But you wanna continue this routine and build up your strength to be able to do at least three to four rounds of this to complete a full workout and to see the most results from this routine. And don't forget to get this workout on your phone as well as full access to all my personal workouts and workout programs that I've created with specific goals in mind like burning fat and building solid muscle with little to no equipment to become a member on harriapro.com and make sure to download the Harrier Pro app in the app store or google play store so that you have my workouts with you everywhere it's like having me as a personal trainer in your pocket start getting in the best shape of your life today not just looking strong actually being strong no matter where you are from the gym or from your house all these exercises you can even mix into your gym workout routine as soon as you're done doing bench presses you can do the deep push-ups as soon as you're done doing incline bench you can do elevated push-ups and get the benefits from both worlds remember it's always what you're not training that's going to benefit you 
the most. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and the workout, then definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to make the next video about and share this video with a friend that's trying to make some chess gains from home when they can't make it to the gym. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe because I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Harry apparel. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want to have a chance to be a part of that, then make sure you're following. And if you're enjoying the music on the channel, make sure you're subscribed to my SoundCloud. That's soundcloud.com slash chrisharia to get all the tracks you hear on the channel as well as all my latest tracks. You can also find them on Spotify and Apple Music. With that said, I'll see you guys next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.